Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Generative AI Tutorial Series. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top announcement that has happened in 2023. The motivation to create this video is to make you realize that AI is moving faster than we have imagined and how fantastic 2023 has been for Generative AI and AI field. So let's get started. With ChatGPT coming into the market in November 2022, the talks around ChatGPT continued in January 2023 as well. With that, Microsoft came into the picture and swept in with the investment of $10 billion. And here's where Microsoft and OpenAI integration starts. With a lot of talk around ChatGPT, people were thinking if there is any competitor from a big tech giants are going to be there to be a rival against ChatGPT. And that's what Google exactly did after a few days. In February 2023, Google launched Bard AI. Just after that, Microsoft announced it being chatbot with the integration of OpenAI chatbot integration into being search engine and, and then Microsoft embedded the same in Windows 11 later on as well. It just two months passed by and it already feels like a lot of our, a lot of things were happening in 2023. And after a lot of chat and buzz around chat GPT barred AI and being chatbot was the next Adobe. So Adobe launched is Firefly in March 2023 and OMG what product it is. I think it saves a humongous amount of designers time and it looks like a wonder to the designers. Let's look at a glimpse. With that, Canva also came into the picture and announced it custom assistant visual editors. With that, uh, all the video editors and content creators were able to use this AI agent to create, uh, to use different custom templates and video editor styles exit as well. Three months down and we were in April 2023 and guess what? The next big announcement happened from Google and DeepMind they both collaborated together and made google DeepMind as an organization under alphabet and they created something really amazing and dominated which can impact hugely chat gpt and other chatbots available into the market what they have announced watch this video to see the results in the end we were at the beginning of may 2023 and that's when google announced uh it's launch of bard ai to limited users but that didn't work out really well it felt like they launched it in the rush to be competitive in the chatbot market but it impacted their chatbot reputation hugely which also impacted in their stock valuation but at the same time microsoft and open ai integration chatbot being ai got introduced into windows 11 and now that made hugely available to all the windows users who were using windows 11. in the june 2023 apple announced apple vision pro it's nothing related to ai or gen ai but it's a groundbreaking technology which apple announced and and are with a groundbreaking technology which has been recently made available in 2024 to mass audience. So half of the semester already passed by for 2023 and we were in July 2023 and guess what who came into the picture. Meta was the biggest announcement of LLMA model which they announced which can be leveraged by all the AI chatbots so to say. 
and which has been trained on billions of parameters, which then can be leveraged by all these chatbots, chat GPT, Pinch AI, and other chatbots available into the market. While we were recently digesting the news of LLMA model announced by Meta, here the another company come into the picture in the chatbot industry as well. And the name is Anthropic AI. And guess who founded this company? One of the ex employees of Chat GPT. I mean, OpenAI. And they created their own chatbot called Cloud, which were more constitutional and harmless chatbots, so to say. While other chatbots were still figuring out how to be safe while it is being used by a wide audience and how not to get tricked by the some difficult question and not answer the question which is not good in constitutional way or not harmful for the users this particular chatbot had made sure that if the answers are if the questions are not correct or if the questions it's something that harm the society and can leak the confidential information they trained it in a way that it doesn't it ensures that it doesn't leak any harmful information and it doesn't answer some nonsense questions. Here we go. Institutional AI, which helps Claude 2 to produce more consistent, safe responses. Thanks to its constitutional AI, which helps Claude 2 to produce more consistent, safe responses. Claude has been built to fine tune itself using the constitution before providing answers rather than just waiting for human feedback to understand what it can and can't say, like with ChatGPT. In August 2023, Google thought to earn money from generative AI. It integrated generative AI in all its Google workplace. Now you had chat. Now you had generative AI implemented in Google Docs, Google Slide, Excel, PowerPoint, and everywhere. And Google started charging it as thirty dollar per month for US users, and later on it came down to other countries as well. Now you can leverage all these AI tools with Google workplaces. And if you're not using Google Workspace, still, if you are utilizing free account to access tools, and that's where if you're trying to access tools like Google Doc, Gmail, Google Slide or Excel, still you can utilize some of the extension of generative AI tools. In October 2023, we received an official announcement from White House mentioning that all the development in AI should be, should be trustworthy, should be safe and should be developed in a manner that it cannot be utilized in the wrong way while this launch has happened different different ceos and developers had contradicting opinions on how we should go with that some were focusing on the progress and speed of the ai and some of them were focusing on being not harmful with the usage of ai now we were almost at the end of 2023 and my god what drama has happened in november 2023 sam altman got fired from open ai out of from nowhere and then immediately it got hired by microsoft ai then uh, open then open an employee started complaining about resigning if sam altman doesn't came back and with microsoft's power and the stake in open ai they again put back uh, sam altman as a ceo mm -hmm. and he also claimed recently that he'll be building an agi and it is not far away from our as it looks like what is agi i'll be creating another video for that so stay tuned for that. We, in the same month, Elon Musk also announced his chatbot for X users called GROC. And that is only available for the premium users who are playing certain dollars to get the blue tick mark on the Twitter. In the same month, Amazon has also launched called, also launched a smart AI chatbot called Amazon Q, which is not only a chatbot which answers simple queries of users like chat gpt and bard ai but does a lot more than that it is a sales executive so it's a sales guide as well which works really well for all the amazon sellers so if you are selling something on amazon and if you have you are and if you have not utilized this you can utilize amazon q to get addressed all your queries and make your life easier if you are an aws developer if you haven't utilized aws uh, if you haven't utilized Amazon Q till now, I, I will definitely suggest you to give it a go and it will make your life a lot more easier. How? Let's see this.
and at the same month we got pika.ai which is i think a humongous announcement that has happened in 2023 and this will be a tremendous improvement when it comes to generating and when it comes to generating 2d and 3d animated videos games And here we come at the last month of 2023 and what madness of announcement of AI and generative AI in whole 2023. With all that happening, Google again came into the picture back at the end of 2023 and, and that is what I was about to tell you at the end of this video. So Google DeepMind announced its most capable and most advanced AI tool which is called Gemini it's not just a chatbot it's a way more than that it's a Gemini AI you can consider it as a combination of chat GPT plus Bard AI where chat GPT users are paying monthly fee to access chat GPT 4.0 for Gemini it's completely free and it provides all those features which are available in the paid versions of chat GPT you just cannot create a custom GPT like that uh, something that you can create in chat GPT but you can leverage all these functionality which you are using in chat GPT by paying certain money in Gemini just for free. Google has been at the forefront of many of those breakthroughs. Gemini is our largest and most capable model. It means that Gemini can understand the world around us in the way that we do. So not just text, but also code, audio, image, and video. Taylor used Gemini to search a large corpus of scientific papers for key information. We wrote a prompt. With its advanced reasoning capabilities, Gemini was able to distinguish between papers that were relevant to the study and those that weren't. I'm delighted to introduce AlphaGo 2 powered by Gemini. When we evaluate AlphaGo 2 on the same platform as the original AlphaCode, we solve almost twice as many problems. Gemini on its own has the ability to transform software development as we understand it. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. But safety and responsibility has to be built in from the beginning. And that has oriented us to be both bold and responsible. <laughs> I believe 2023 has been a magnificent year in terms of AI and generative AI acceleration that we have seen in all these different domains and people have already started using that these tools in their day-to-day -day lives either they are doing their own business either they are you know doing jobs and even organization have started adopting these technologies to make their work more efficient make their team member work on something very creative and make those all boilerplate tasks into something much more efficient and less time consuming way by using all these AI tools. So if you haven't tried your hands on all these generative AI and AI tools in your day to day life, I think this is your time to do so. It will make a lot of your time. It will make your life a lot easier and your tasks are much more efficient. Let me know if you want me to create a video on any specific generative AI aspects or concept. Just write it down into the comment section below and I'll make sure that I'll create video on that. Thank you so much.